should be, for some reason, to know where certain things are located in the boat. Maybe not that you have to, to know, but it could be good to know. And underneath the back sofa here, you will find the air conditioning unit. So there is a couple of things that needs attention from time to time. One of those is the air condition strainer because it will at some point be clogged up. So lifting the carpets, taking away the lid here in the floor, the floorboard, and then the inspection lids like that gives you access to your strainer for the air condition and the seacock. It also gives you access to the seacock for the gray water system. And in the forward uh, inspection hatch here, you also have access to your air conditioned water pump. So then moving on to the other uh, inspection hatches you have here. This one, the aft one, is for the bilge. There's a bilge pump here, also for general inspection of the actual bilge. And the other one is the fuel cut off valves. Yeah, so moving on, even further in the boat, we have another hatch, inspection hatch. Uh, here is the uh, fuel filler uh, connection and also the fuel sender, uh, which could, of course, be good to know they fail sometimes. So here in the cabin to the port side, just in front of the um, passenger seat here, we have the uh, electrical main uh, board. Uh, we have the DC fuses, some breakers, and we have the AC side. The voltage reading, the fuses and breakers. On top of that, we have the air condition control panel. We have the JL audio head uh, unit, and then we have a number of breakers here for roof light here in the cabin, and also for operating the canvas roof.